Greetings and welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> so today we continue with the second part of a series that I started on understanding copyright. And so here's a quick recap. So number one, we talked about the legal framework that there is for copyright protection in Kenya. I told you about the constitutional basis, which is Article 40, sub-Article 4 of the Constitution. I also told you about the legislative framework, which is the Copyright Act, Chapter 130 Laws of Kenya, which, is, which now stands amended by Act Number 20 of 2019. Secondly, I told you that copyright accrues as soon as your work is fixated. Speaking of music, copyright accrues as soon as it is recorded. That is by virtue of section 22, uh, subsection 5 of the Act. And then I mentioned that you don't really need to record, to, to register your music, but it is important. We left it at that, and I promised to tell you more about registration, which I shall now do in this second part of this series. But if you haven't watched that part, please do yourself a favor. Just click on this link up here. Just go and bring yourself up to speed to where we reached with this all whole issue of copyright. Otherwise, my name is Klitschi and this right here is Klitschi Vlogs. To all returning subscribers, welcome back. If it's your first time visiting me, kindly subscribe down below and I promise you will like it here, okay? Great. So let's quickly deal with three issues here. Number one, let's talk about why is it important for you to register your music for purposes of copyright. Number two, I will tell you about where it is that you can go and register your music for purposes of copyright. And thirdly, we'll talk about how can you register your music for purposes of copyright. So let's deal with the why. Why is it important for you to register your music? Now, indeed, as we said in part one, copyright accrues as soon as your music is recorded. And you don't really need to register for us to say that you own the copyright. But registration is important. Why? Remember, we talked about the concept of intellectual property. Your music is, an, is your intellectual property, and therefore it's supposed to earn you a living. Now, there are certain unscrupulous persons and entities who are aware of this fact and can use your music in a manner that disadvantages you or in a manner that, you know, rips you off the benefit of earning from your music. And therefore, the concept of copyright is present in, in the constitution and legislation in the sense that it allows you to control the use of your work and it also allows you to get remuneration out of your hard and you know, sweat. And therefore, when I talk about infringement, I'm talking about such issues as, you know, um, piracy. This is where somebody, you know, reproduces your work and sells them or, or uses them for, uses it for public entertainment in a manner that deprives you, you know, the benefit. This is outright infringement and it's outlawed under section 35 of the Copyright Act as amended but Act number 20 of 2019. And therefore, they are supposed to be made to answer for their misdeeds in a court of law. But when it comes to that, how do you prove that you own the copyright in your music? You guessed right. Registration, registration, registration. So registration of any work that embodies copyright provides prima facie evidence of any information that you will have given during the registration process. And therefore, when you register your music for purposes of, for purposes of copyright, it helps the enforcement agencies, be it the police, the copyright board, the, the, the court, to you know, to know who owns the copyright in this music. And therefore, registration of copyright is important in that aspect. So then let's answer the where. Where does one register their work for purposes of copyright? Now, in the first part of this series, I told you that the law establishes a body known as the Kenya Copyright Board. Under Section 22A of the Copyright Act, as amended by Act Number 20 of 2019, this board has now been mandated 
to maintain and keep a register of all works that embody copyright. Again, as I told you, your music embodies copyright and therefore you can register your music for purposes of copyright with the Kenya Copyright Board. So then let's answer the how. How do you register your music for purposes of copyright? Well, you can register your work online through copyright.go.ke. This is the official website that is managed by the Kenya Copyright Board and the homepage looks like this. Once you're in here, you simply go to the e-registration tab. You will be taken to the Kenya National Rights Registry Portal. And, when, and while you're here, you will create an account if you're a first-time user. But if you're a returning user, then you can just log in and proceed. When you're logged into your account, we will meet a dashboard which provides you with an option to make an application for the res registration of your music or your work of copyright. So you just click on it and complete these simple steps. And that's basically the exercise of you providing vital information regarding the work that you seek to register. In this case, your music. For example, you will, you will need to provide information regarding what is the nature of this you know, work, what is the title of the work, you know, um, who is the musician, are there any collaborating artists, which is the, who is the producer, who is the publisher, which is the record label, among many other information. Once you're done, you will upload the work which you seek to register. In this case, your music or your album. And then you'll pay the requisite fee through mobile money or the other avenues that are provided there. I think there is uh, an avenue for bank transfer and so on and so forth. And then you will check the box for accepting the terms and conditions and you submit your work for processing. It's that simple, guys. Now, as I conclude, I want to say two things real quick. Registration of copyright is a right reserved for the owner of the copyright work. If you are the musician, you are the one who is supposed to go and register the copyright. But then there are certain arrangements which are recognized by the law where you might have licensed or assigned your work to a third party or, an, or entity in such circumstances as a record label. In that instance, it is the record label that will register the works on, on your behalf. And we'll talk about this in the subsequent episodes of this channel. Lastly, number two, I told you that your music is your intellectual property. And by that, it's supposed to pay you or you're supposed to earn a living out of it. So that when your music is used commercially or performed publicly, then you're supposed to be paid a dime for it. Such public performance include your music being played in radio, television, advertisements, you know, being played in public service vehicles, aeroplanes, or in streaming services such as Spotify. But then what is the practicability of you going in all these places around the world to collect what's due to you? Impossible, right? That is why the law recognizes and provides a space for what we call as the Collective Management Organization, or CMOs. The CMOs have been mandated to collect and negotiate royalties on your behalf. We were supposed to talk about CMOs in this second part, but then I realized that it would be important to talk about registration first. So let's meet here for part three of this series. That's, that actually will be the final you know, episode of this series, so that we can delve deeper into the role of these CMOs. Okay, great. Remember, if you're new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any, you know, uploads that, that are coming up next. You can also leave a comment down below so that I can know what you expect and what I can improve on. Till next time, ciao.